Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. In this video today, I will review two new products from the famous Carporite brand. We have a 7-inch portable smart multimedia car screen and a steering wheel controller. Now, as you might know, most of the portable screens in the market do not operate with the control buttons on your car's steering wheel. And this has been mentioned as a major pain point by many of my viewers. So what Carporite did, they developed a very nice, compact and a portable steering wheel controller that will address this issue. So we simply need to connect this small controller to the steering wheel of the car either by the strap belt or by sticking on using the adhesive pad. Now let's first do the unboxing to check out the contents in the box and then I will connect this with my car to test the performance of this Carporite W609 portable multimedia car screen and the steering wheel controller. So guys, please keep watching this video till the end. All right, guys, so this is all we get uh, with this package. Uh, so you get a user manual. So this is a user manual for the screen. Then you get a after sales support manual. And then you've got another user manual for the steering wheel controller. Then you've got um, the aux cable to connect the screen with the aux slot in the car. Uh, you've got a cigarette lighter adapter for power, a rear view camera with this. Uh, now you've got option uh, where you can buy the screen with the camera and without the camera. And then you've got two mounting brackets. This is a mounting bracket that uh, kind of sits on the dashboard uh, of the car. You've got a sticking adhesive pad and this end connects with the, with the screen. And then there's another one with a suction cup. Now this is a suction cup that connects with the windshield and the other end connects with the with the screen here. Now this also converts into a telescopic mounting bracket. So basically you use this pad to connect it on the dashboard and then you can use this to adjust the viewing either you know forward or backward like this. So it becomes a telescopic mounting bracket. Uh, and then you get this is uh, the steering wheel controller. Now it comes with the strapping part so you can connect this with the steering wheel control like this or if you don't want to do that you can in fact take this out like this and then using the adhesive pad put it on the back and you know stick it on the steering wheel or on the dashboard wherever you like all right so very convenient and you know we will connect this in my car later on and to see how this works with the screen but it's a very nice and lightweight uh, steering wheel controller. So keep one thing in mind that this uh, steering wheel controller is complimentary. So whenever you order any screen from Carporite, uh, just mention in the comment section that you need a controller like this one and they will put it in the box uh, just for free. So it's a complimentary device. You don't get to buy this separately. Uh, now looking uh, at the screen, this is W609. This is a seven inch uh, portable multimedia smart car screen from Carporide. Now a very nice layout. Uh, it's, it's kind of a small design. Uh, so you've got the name of the brand on top. Uh, then you've got the power button here. Uh, looking at the back, you've got a built-in speaker, just like all other uh, Carporite screens. You've got the slots for the mounting bracket. Um, and then on the left side is where you find all the different connections. So the first one is for the SD memory card. Uh, the next one is for the aux cable to connect the audio. Then you've got the AV in. This is to connect the rear view camera. You've got a USB slot and then finally type C connection for power. So in terms of the connection, it's very simple, uh, very similar to the other Carporite screens. Um, it's, uh, it's a decent size, it's not very heavy. Uh, now let me take this out, uh, connect it with my car, and then we start testing the performance of this Carporite uh, 609 portable screen as well as the steering wheel controller. So keep watching guys. All right, friends, so I've, uh, I've set this up in my car um, on the dashboard here. Now, ideally, this should be right in the middle, but I already have my inbuilt screen here. So, you know, I can't put it there for the video. Uh, so what I've done, I've done here is that I've put it on the dashboard right in front of the steering wheel to, to make this video. Um, you know, it's a very, very nice, uh, simple plug and play self-service kind of a device. This dashboard mount is, is quite wide and stable. It comes with an adhesive pad. 
so you know the screen will not shake or move when you are driving the car. Um, you know again self service kind of a device you just need to plug in the power uh, and the, the screen switch is on. Uh, the only help that you might need or in fact you can do it yourself is uh, hiding this cable that goes all the way down to the cigarette lighter here. Uh, you can in fact uh, take this wire through the sides and behind the dashboard all the way to the cigarette lighter. Uh, but if you don't mind it outside you can leave it as is. Uh, but as you can see it's very nice sits quite nicely on the dashboard. Alright so the other thing I've done is actually connected this steering wheel controller. I've uh, you know connected it with the steering wheel here. Uh, you know looks quite nice and as soon as you switch on the steering wheel controller it automatically connects with the screen. So for example let's see if we increase the volume because you can see on the screen also let's bring it down. There you go. So it automatically connects as soon as you switch on the screen uh, the steering wheel controller automatically connects with the screen. You do not have to do any connections uh, between the two devices and as I said it is so nicely set up on the steering wheel. It does not block uh, your control of the steering wheel. Um, you know it has got this strap on belt that uh, you can adjust to tighten the strap uh, or as, as I said earlier you can take this out and stick it on the dashboard here or somewhere that is accessible to you if you do not want to put it on the steering wheel itself. Alright guys so this is the main page or the landing page of this Carporite W609 portable multimedia smart car screen. Uh, now the look and feel exactly the same as any other Carporite screen. Um, so you have got the home button, help, volume up and down, brightness, then you have got the time here. Uh, you've got the connectivity Bluetooth here and then you've got these five main icons. These are the main functions on this portable screen. iPlay is the CarPlay for iPhones. Then you've got Android Auto. AirPlay is the mobile screen mirroring for iPhones. Then you've got the Auto Link. This is the wired Android uh, mobile screen mirroring sound equalizer. You've got Bluetooth connectivity so you can connect this device with your mobile for making calls or listening to music. You've got a USB uh, slot here, so you've got the USB slot where you can connect external devices to play video or any other content. You can also insert SD memory card, um, you know, to have uh, an extended uh, storage. Uh, FM transmission, this is how you connect the sound from this portable screen to the sound system of your car and I'll show you how to do that later on. And then finally, you've got the settings area. Now within settings you've got these four setting uh, options. So you've got the first one where you have the language time. Uh, you can uh, select the device speaker. Now this device comes in with built-in speaker and those are very powerful speakers. So you can switch those on. If you don't want to connect the sound to your car you can simply use the device speakers. Uh, you can set this up for right hand drive or left hand drive. Uh, then you've got the system version, uh, factory reset and so on. Uh, then the next one is the settings for the CarPlay and the Android Auto. You've got the Wi-Fi as well. You need this Wi-Fi connectivity to have the mobile screen mirroring and I'll show you later on how to do that. And then some other details for the rear view camera. So as soon as you connect the rear view camera uh, with this device, I will not do that today because my car already has a built-in uh, camera. But uh, if you connect that, then you have some options that you can play around with the, the rear view camera settings like setting up the parking lines and uh, the other assist options. So these are all the settings. Let's go back to the home page. Now what I'll do in, in this video in order to test the performance of both the screen and the steering wheel controller, I will start testing some of these uh, functions uh, in this video. All right, so the very first thing I would like to do is actually connect the audio from this portable screen to the sound system of my car. So what I need to do is actually go to the FM trans icon. And now here what I need to do is select a frequency. This is an FM frequency and then match that same frequency on the radio system of my car. It's got 100.1 on the portable screen and then I also have 100.1 on my uh, car's radio system. Uh, and that's it. Uh, and then you just switch this on. Uh, there you go. Now it's switch on. Now the sound is connected uh, to the sound system of my car. So it's a very simple process. All right. So the first thing I would like to test on this portable screen is the wireless Apple CarPlay connection. So we click on this iPlay icon. 
Uh, this takes us to this page where you have instructions on how to connect it. Uh, basically, you just need to go to your iPhone, open Bluetooth and then look for this new device as Carporite. Click on this, pair the device, allow it to sync contacts and favorites and then use CarPlay. So that's it. Uh, very simple. This is a one-time connection. So you just have to establish the connection once and then every time you switch on the car, the portable screen will automatically detect the connection with your mobile and take you directly to the Apple CarPlay homepage like this one. So this is the main Apple CarPlay homepage. Uh, this is the main page uh, where you've got the navigation on the left, you've got media and other items on the right side. Uh, you click on this, it takes you to the full uh, application view of all the different apps that are installed. Um, so for example, all these in you swipe left, you can pick any of them, um, navigation, uh, you can play music as well. Um, so let's see if you can play some music and then also use the steering wheel controller to operate that. Right, so let's go and play some music. Now, remember the sound is connected to the system of my car and I can in fact use this steering wheel controller, there you go, to increase the, the volume. So let's see if we can uh, reduce the volume. As you can see, we can easily reduce the volume. Uh, and let's see if we can skip songs. So let's press this skip button. Yeah, there you go. So it does skip uh, songs as well. There you go. So it's uh, skipping songs. And let's see if we can make calls. Uh, now let's see if we can switch on the Siri. So we switch on the Siri. Hey Siri, take me to Dubai Mall. All right, so it takes you to um, the the Siri control uh, as well as skipping songs. Um, so, for example, come back to this, skip songs. Now, I really like this steering wheel controller because it, you you don't have to actually click on the touch screen here. You can simply use the steering wheel control to increase volume, to make calls, to switch on Siri. Uh, to increase the volume, there you go. So I'm quite uh, impressed with this. I think this is such a nice uh, addition that uh, Carporide has done um, to their uh, portfolio, to their offering. Um, and, and, the, and the best thing is that it comes complimentary, free of charge with any of the screens that you buy from them. All right, so now let's uh, connect the wireless Android Auto. So we click on this a auto icon again you've got all the instructions on how to connect that basically just open the bluetooth on your android mobile i've got my samsung here look for this new device carporide click on this and then it will start connecting so pair the device and that's it so the apple uh, the android auto is much faster to connect you just have one uh, message that you get on the screen and then, you know, in a few seconds, it connects with the wireless Android auto system. Again, this is a one-time setup. You just need to connect the device uh, only once. This is the landing page. So you've got the navigation. You've got some other details on the right side. Now, if you want to know more about Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and the functions of, uh, of these two platforms, just go and watch my other videos where I've kind of explained this in detail. Uh, in this video, the whole point is just to see if, uh, if those two things are working on this portable screen. And as you can see, Apple CarPlay was working quite nicely. This is uh, the Android Auto. You click on this, uh, it takes you to the full app view. So you've got all the different apps uh, available on this. Um, and you can see these applications. You've got settings where you can change the look and feel. Uh, you can have a full view of the navigation like this. So you've got so many different uh, options uh, on Android Auto and CarPlay that uh, can be used on this portable screen. Okay. All right, so the next thing I would like to test is actually play a video file uh, on this portable screen. So uh, you can do that either through the USB flash drive or you can insert SD memory card. I've already inserted an SD memory card. Uh, I've got a very heavy 4K file on that card. Um, and uh, when you click on the SD card, it will automatically play the very first video. So let's click on the SD card and then you see this is the video that gets played. If you want to see all the videos, click on this button. It will give you a full listing of all the videos available on this. 
So let's go back to this 4K video. There you go. So this is a 4K video. Um, it's playing very, very nicely. It's quite clear and bright. The colors are also nice. Uh, now, the one thing I really don't like about this is that you cannot actually play these kind of videos in full screen. So this part will always remain there on the left side and you only get this much to watch videos. Now, when you have the Apple CarPlay or mobile screen mirroring or the Android Auto, you do get that in full screen. But when you're playing any video content through the USB flash drive or the SD card, it will only come on this side or this much of the screen. And it's playing quite nicely. Again, you can use the steering wheel control uh, gadget to increase the volume and you can also skip the videos. There you go. So it's very, very nice feature. I really love this steering wheel controller uh, that the Car Pride guys have uh, introduced. All right, so now let's test the mobile screen mirroring function on this, and I'll do this on my iPhone. Uh, but uh, you know, you can follow the instructions for Android Auto here as well, Auto Link. So let's click on AirPlay, and then again, you get all the instructions on how to do this. So basically, what you need to do is connect your iPhone with this device through the Wi-Fi. So you go to the Wi-Fi settings, click on this network here, and it's connected. And the next step is just go to top right, drop down, click on mobile screen mirroring here. Uh, then you will see this device appearing, W609. Click on this, and then it will take a second or two to start the mobile screen mirroring. There you go. So you can see now the screen is mirrored. In fact, you can go to... Um, an app like this and then you'll see it is appearing on the screen there and the really good thing about this is that there is no lag no lag at all so when you move the screen on your mobile it moves the same time on the portable screen here as well and and you can play anything like this right so let's uh, try to play a youtube video all right, so as you can see, this is playing my video. This is a YouTube video that is played on the screen. And uh, it's very, very nice. In fact, I can use the steering wheel control to increase the volume. There you go. Now, before I explain to you the rules of this giveaway contest, it runs and on I, I really, system, really like this feature on, on this portable screen of mobile screen mirroring uh, and the steering wheel controller, um, you know, amazing. So, so that's it, friends. Uh, this was a very quick review of this uh, new Carporite W609 uh, portable car screen, a multimedia car screen. Um, everything works amazingly well. For me, the best thing is this new steering wheel controller that uh, helps you to control and navigate uh, the screen. You don't have to actually touch the screen all the time. You can just simply use the Siri option to go to different applications, uh, increase volume, skip songs or chapters through the steering wheel controller. So all in all, highly, highly recommended, especially for people who don't have a car screen or if they have a car screen, it's not a multimedia car screen. So highly recommended for all those people. And uh, if you like this, if you're interested, uh, simply go to the link in the description of this video that takes you directly to the official corporate store where you can buy this uh, portable car screen or any other portable car screen and uh, just in the comments section when you're ordering mention that you would want the steering wheel controller as well there's no extra charge for it it's uh, a complimentary gadget but you need to mention that in the comment section when you place the order so so that's it friends uh, thanks for watching this video